In a video back at the beginning of January, we looked at whether parking garages were actually strong enough to cope with a fleet of EVs, link in the description. This is because EVs are significantly heavier on average than their internal combustion engine counterparts, primarily due to the huge mass of the battery, which can be anything from 700 kilograms or 1500 pounds upwards just on its own. Structural engineering guidelines and regulations that may have been formulated decades ago did not contemplate this increase in vehicle masses, and so there are ongoing concerns that parking garages may not be strong enough to deal with a large proportion of EVs in the future. And now another issue linked to that same mass increase has been graphically demonstrated, as we shall see in this video. Roadway guardrails and crash barriers can't cope with EVs either. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell and drop a comment down below. We'll take a look at the research in a minute, but in a related story, an official of the US government agency, the National Transportation Safety Board, expressed concerns in a similar but related scenario just a couple of weeks ago, namely collisions between EVs and regular vehicles. Here are a few extracts from the report, full article at the link in the description. The official, Jennifer Homendy, raised the issue in a speech in Washington to the Transportation Research Board. She noted, by way of example, that an electric GMC Hummer weighs about 9,000 pounds, 4,000 kilograms, with a battery pack that alone is 2,900 pounds, 1,300 kilograms, roughly the entire weight of a typical Honda Civic. I'm concerned about the increased risk of severe injury and death for all road users from heavier curb weights and increasing size, power and performance of vehicles on our roads, including electric vehicles, Homendy said in remarks prepared for the group. The extra weight that EVs typically carry stems from the outsized mass of their batteries. To achieve 300 or more miles, 480 or more kilometres, of range per charge from an EV, batteries have to weigh thousands of pounds. We have to be careful that we aren't also creating unintended consequences. More death on our roads, she said. Safety, especially when it comes to new transportation policies and new technologies, cannot be overlooked. Michael Brooks, executive director of the non-profit Centre for Auto Safety, said he too is concerned about the weight of EVs, because buyers seem to be demanding a range of 300 or more miles per charge requiring heavy batteries. Setting up a charging network to accommodate that may be a mistake from a safety perspective, Brooks said. These bigger, heavier batteries are going to cause more damage, he said. It's a simple matter of mass and speed. And in fact, there's yet another issue with many EVs, and that is their frankly ridiculous and unnecessary acceleration, which, in the hands of inexperienced drivers, is itself another danger to other road users. But the research at the University of Nebraska's Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, MWRSF, graphically demonstrates the failure of current guardrail and crash barrier standards to deal with heavy EVs. In research sponsored by the US Army Engineer Research and Development Center, ERDC, and partnered with Auburn University's Transportation Research Institute, led by Lawrence Rillett, former Mid-America Transportation Center and Nebraska Transportation Center Director, the Nebraska facility recently conducted a first-of-its-kind crash test of an EV pickup truck to better understand whether currently used guardrails and US military protection measures against hostile vehicles are prepared for the growing number of EVs. Thousands of fatalities result each year from more than 100,000 runoff road crashes involving traffic infrastructure such as roadside barriers. There is some urgency to address this issue, said Cody Stoller, MWRSF Assistant Director. As the percentage of EVs on the road increases, the proportion of runoff road crashes involving EVs will increase as well. A crash test performed on a guardrail on October 12, 2023, highlighted the concern. At 60 miles an hour, the 7,000 plus pound 2022 Rivian R1T truck tore through the barrier with little reduction in speed. In a separate test conducted in September 2023, a 2018 Tesla Model 3 sedan lifted the guardrail and passed below it, coming to rest behind the barrier. Let's take a look at the video. Oh my God. Wow, that's quite frankly terrifying. That truck went through the barriers like a knife through warm butter. Of course, guardrails and crash barriers aren't designed to deal with a semi-truck, but the chances of an incident like that are far smaller than a regular vehicle. 
And as the average mass of vehicles increases with the proportion of EVs, the chances of an incident like that pictured will also increase. You can be sure of one thing, however. The cost of upgrading the world's crash barrier network to deal with the EV revolution certainly hasn't been factored into the global cost of net zero, and there's probably plenty more that hasn't been either. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips or stories, you can hit me up on Twitter, email or by Instagram, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.